Hello, my name is Gerald with Maple Systems. In this video I'm going to show you how to create various screens and tags. In MapWare 7000, you have to define your tags before you can use them. There isn't a pool of tags to pull from. To create tags, under the Define menu, select Tag Database. In the Tag Database, it shows system tags that have already been created and are reserved. For a complete list of system tags, go into the Help menu and select Contents. Under the Index tab, scroll down to System Tags. At the bottom of this tutorial, there are links to lists of reserved system tags. Back in the Tag Database, you can add tags by clicking the Add button. In the Add Tag window, give it a name. The system will not let you create a tag unless it's given a name so give it a name. Choose the register type, select the tag type, register or coil or bit, give it a register number, and select the number of bytes you want, 1, 2, or 4. One byte is equal to 8 bits or a single ASCII character. You can create more than one tag at a time using the same tag name by clicking the auto add checkbox. Then you can choose how many number of tags to add. Click the Add button to add the new tags. If you don't get an error message, that means your tags have been added successfully. Now your tags are in the database and can be used throughout the project. Notice the new tags here. In order to use your tags, you must have screens to place your objects on. There are three types of screens you can create. There's a base screen, a pop-up screen, and a template screen. A base screen is a full-size screen. A template screen is a screen that can be used as an underlay, so you can place objects you want to be seen on multiple screens. And a pop-up screen is a pop-up window that you can close. Under the screen menu, you can create all three types of screens. You can also duplicate a screen, or go to the different screens you've already created, selecting the Open Screen option. Another way to create screens is by right-clicking on the Screens folder icon. Here you can create a new base screen or a new pop-up screen. If you right-click on a specific screen, it gives you the option to duplicate the screen, giving you a new screen with the same exact properties. If you want to create a template screen, go to the Templates folder icon and create a screen. This can also be done using the Screen menu. Select the Template window and place objects on the screen. I want the clock and date to be seen on every screen, so I'm going to place those objects here. There are two ways to tell a screen to use a template screen. Here you can select Yes in the Use Template property. Then select the template screen. You can also choose multiple templates for one screen. Notice how this screen now shows the date and time. Another way to select templates for screens is to go into the screen menu and select Apply Template Screens. Here you can see that Screen 1 has Template 1. You can also add Template 1 to Screen 2. Click OK. Now if you select Screen 2, the date and time show. To create a pop-up screen, you can go to the screen menu or you can right click the screens icon folder. Here we've created a pop-up screen. Build this window to meet your specifications. Here we will create a custom keypad. To do this, select your advanced objects menu from your toolbar. Select custom keypad. Place the keypad on the window. You can place keypads on any screen you like. Select the keypad in the Properties menu, select the keypad type. Give it a label. To customize your keypad button, select the key that you wish to customize. In the Custom Keypad Properties, you can now see a Key Properties menu. Here you can choose what you want the key to do. If you would like to merge keys, select the Merge Keys option. You can select which key to merge it to. We'll merge it to the left key. 
Now you can see that the top right key and the key just to the left of it are merged. If you'd like more information on custom keypads, go to the Help menu and select Index. Scroll down to Keypad, select it. This goes over the different keypad settings. and how to configure them. After you've created a pop-up window, you can call it up by placing an open pop-up screen object in any screen. To do this, go into your advanced objects, buttons, navigation buttons, and open pop-up screen. Place the button on the screen. In your open pop-up screen properties, select the screen name that you wish to pop up. Now when this button is clicked, the pop-up window will open. If you want to use your keypad and data entry, place a numeric entry object on the window. To do this, go into Edit Data, select Numeric Entry. In the Register Data Entry Properties, select Yes in the keypad attribute and select the pop-up screen next to the screen name. Now when this data entry field is selected, the pop-up window you just created will appear. And that's how to create screens and tags in MapWare 7000.